super tight and hang out there long. Let's get a let's get five, six of them, be nice and full. Oh, with it. that one hurts. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of times. All right, folks, as we continue on with this golf transformation series, we are back once again with Zach with PSM Performance. Zach, thank you once again for joining yeah. us. Thanks. So uh, what is it you're going to be taking us through today? Well, we're going to talk about warming up. A lot of Everyone thinks of doing it when they work out. But a lot of people, what's negated, and, and I would say one of the things we talk about, what separates the pros and their preparation from the average golfer going out in their weekend game or their afternoon game or evening game after work mm. is they show up to the course either step right up onto the range or step up to the first tee and they haven't phys physically prepared their body yeah for what they're about to do sure it's it's a sport it's a skill it's athleticism in motion when we sing a club so if we haven't prepared our body and we ask it to put it into this high speed big rotation big turn uh elevation changes if we're walking we got to walk around if we're if, otherwise, even if we're riding in the cart, we're in and out, bending down, standing up, and as we get older, it takes a little bit more to get moving, and we yeah. feel it a little bit more. So having a warm-up that we use when we get to the golf course every single day, is, is, or at least every single round, or even in a practice session, is huge. We gotta be consistent in that, and get our body ready to go. We wanna have that same feeling and be consistent, just like when we swing a club, is, and get our body ready for, the, for that the activity. Sure. So. I used to play basketball years and years of my life, and I would never dream of going out and playing without at least getting some jumpers up yeah. or at least some layup lines in a game. Or, you know, nowadays that I'm older, I usually reach for the ibuprofen to kind of help yeah. out with that stuff. So you're gonna show us a few movements and exercises. Let's go ahead and get to that. Yeah, and, and what we wanna do is, we don't need to make this big complex, like huge warm up thing that we're gonna do when we go to the golf course. It's right. just, we gotta look at, okay, well, we got, we're gonna have to bend our knees, we're gonna have to bend our hips, we're gonna have to turn our shoulders, we're gonna have to, extend our arms, flex them, and do a bunch of the different stuff. So we just want to prepare it that way, and we can make it as simple as possible. So we're only going to do about four or five movements here. Okay. Uh, and we don't have to do a ton of reps. This isn't a full-blown workout. This is just trying to prepare ourselves. Most of us sit in a desk all day long for a job, or we're standing on our feet on hard concrete surfaces. We haven't, been in a, we haven't done a ton of, either we've been bent the whole time, or we haven't been bending at all. Gotcha. So how can we prepare our body for what we, we're about to ask it to do? So. Okay. Five things you step up to the, your step up to the range or you step up to the first tee, where we're gonna what we're gonna do. So all you need is about a five iron. Five iron longer iron, five, four, three. The tighter our shoulders are, the longer the club we may need to be. We'll keep it simple to start. So you're gonna grab both ends of your club, club, club head in the in the other end of the of the grip, and you're just gonna start. We're just gonna press all the way up over top and then bring it all the way down behind our shoulders. Try to pull it down as far as you can, down behind your shoulders, press it back up. Bring it down in front. You're just gonna do, we'll just do six of them. Over and back. Okay. You can tell yeah. that the stiffness is there. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of times we spend so much, this, by bringing it back behind our shoulders and pulling it down, we're, we're opening up our shoulders, which we need to do on a back swing. So we're, we're loosening all this up, and most of us, we spend all of our time here. Yeah. So everything on the front side of our body gets really, really tight all the time. Next thing we're gonna do, is we're just gonna do a squat. So we're just gonna take the, we're gonna take our, our uh, club, hold it right up here in front of our body. We can even, however you wanna do it. So okay. keeping our chest up and your feet flat on the ground. And that means taking your feet out really, really wide, turning your toes out a little bit, yeah. that's fine. But we gotta make sure our heels stay down and we should squat down as low as you can and stand back up, keeping that chest up. Good. And then Chris, you can do the same thing, kind of show it. Like if it's gonna behind. be your barbell, yeah, yeah. like you guys, you guys that work out, yeah. same idea, it's the same feeling right here. Just push it back onto your heels yep. as you go down, right? Yep, okay. good balance in our feet, good weight. So the next one is, so we got our knees bending, we got some hip hips bending, mm -hmm. but a, a big thing in, in a dress, and when we swing, is, is what we call a hip hinge. So our ability to separate our, uh, and, and tilt our upper body separate from our lower body. Mm -hmm. So how we achieve this when we, we warm up, we, we talk about doing an RDL. And, okay. and uh, or well, uh, just a basic hip hinge. So what you're gonna do, this will be a good one too for our balance warm up yeah. here. Is, Which I have none. Yep, <laughs> we figure that one out. <laughs> is you're just gonna take up your, your five iron, put the handle on the on the top of your shoe, okay. right? And, you, and then the other, the club head goes in your hand. All right. And balance, standing on your left foot, you're gonna try to go down and put, just let it, just, you're just gonna hold your, your club to your. Oh boy. Your club, hold your club to your foot. 
Nice little stretch uh, movement there and back up tall. Okay. Keep the legs Pretty straight. Pretty complex. Oh, you can have it bend okay. just a okay. little bit, but we're not, yeah, we're not doing a full blown squat. That's a lot to think about. And oh, back man. up tall. Now, pretty complex, right? Yeah. You want to make it simpler? Take that club, put it on the ground right here. Okay. Now, this back leg, that right leg that you're going to be moving, yeah. stays in a straight line from your shoulder to your foot. Okay? okay. So it all moves as one. So if my hand's here, we're just moving it nice and back, trying to make it parallel okay. to the ground, back okay. up tall. Okay. Good, simple movement, right? We're not yeah. getting a ton of, of knee bend here. So that left knee that, that Chris is standing on, we're not squatting down to get there. It's not going left or right. We're trying to just get the movement to come from the hips. So now my hip stays here. Okay. I'm not reaching over with my upper body. If we get a punch of rounding in our upper body, then we're not doing it quite right. We want a good okay. flat back and that leg to go straight back. And once we get that, now it's a little bit easier, right? Once yeah. we figure it out, okay, well, this what is what doing. I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're there. Uh, if we struggle with balance, let's play it safe. We can always put the club down on the ground. <laughs> and it's as like we that. get better, as we get more, uh, we get more body control and we get better at our balance, then we can go ahead and put it right on the shoe. Yeah. Uh, but there's reasons why we, get, we work on this. There's a couple things. Again, hip hinge, single leg balance. There's so many instances in a golf game in a round of golf that you're, you're one, you got more weight on one foot than the other foot. Like, yeah. other than standing on a tee box or maybe on the putting green, there's very few times where your feet are perfectly flat and on an even level. Like, right. you're either hitting uphill, downhill, forward. Yeah. Or the ball is above your feet or the ball is below your feet. So you're in all these weird positions. So having good single leg strength, stability, and be able to move your body around those okay. is, is a huge component of it. Okay. Now let's connect the upper body and lower body. Cool. All right. And one of the biggest things we got to do in a golf swing, you got to be able to rotate. Mm -hmm. right. So take our club. We're going to put it right, right back behind our shoulders. Kind of bow jacking it. Yep. So I want you to do, Chris, you're just going to step out with your left foot. Okay. All the way out into a lunge. So you're just gonna step all the way out. Okay. You get to the bottom of it, you can let that knee touch the ground, rotate to your left, rotate to your right, back to the middle, Ooh. stand back up tall. Okay. So same foot yep. or? Okay. Same foot. Let's just do, we're we gonna do five on the right, five on the left. Now the big thing is, and like we see over there with, with Brock, we get, that, we get a bunch of uh, knee turning. That's okay. Try to, so Brock, try to keep that left knee when you go out. The knee that's out in front, when I turn, I want that knee still going straight ahead. Don't let it drift with you. A little tighter there. Can't go as far, right? Right. Yeah. And so we're looking at how, we're looking at how we, uh, we have to separate our upper body and lower body. And not, okay. to, and not to say that, okay, well, we're gonna block our hips and we're gonna turn across them. Well, we gotta have some range of motion in both directions. So we did five with our left, we go five with our right, same thing. So we're turning both ways. And as we get, as we get uh, more fluid with this and we build up some technique, we can be a little bit quicker with it. It doesn't need to be rapid fast, but we can be nice and fluid. Okay. But if we're tight, and we're, we're the first few times, we wanna work on technique more than anything. We don't just wanna go through the motions. So we wanna be, make sure we can try to keep everything nice and smooth, okay. or, or keep that knee going straight ahead and turn across it. Like, I'm, I'm not reaching for the stars here. I'm just trying yeah. to get myself moving. Yeah. And the reason the club goes behind your back is so that we connect our, our spine and our arms. Because I can do, if I take my, the club out from behind my back, yeah. and I can do this, like, I can do, I can just move yeah. my arms, yeah. and my spine doesn't turn. Got it. And that's where okay. we get into trouble as a golfer. When we, when we, we get these over-the-top swings, or if we don't rotate, when we talk, you guys were working with, with Alec on, we can just get our arms moving and I don't have to turn my spine and then we do this all this weird stuff with our arms. Right. Well, we really need some spine rotation. So okay. Okay. here this connects my up my arms to my spine. Yeah. And we do this. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely felt it like right through like even the, yeah. the top of the middle of my back. Mid back, all of that. Yep. Yeah. We get we get stuck and we get stiff and we don't turn really really yeah. well when we do things. So cool. and those are four movements that we could do. So we got our over our, our press, our squat, our RDL. Mm -hmm and then our lunge and twist. Mm -hmm. Like those are four movements, five to eight reps. You don't have to do a ton. Again, we're not doing anything crazy, but five to eight each side, or, or if it's two legs, you do five to eight of those. And make sure it's nice and fluid. You're not trying to, this isn't, this isn't going crazy. We don't need to be super fast with it. We're just trying to loosen up. Um, okay. There's guys out there on tour. You see them sometimes when they step on the range. A lot of them, they do it before they even get to the range, maybe in the clubhouse, in the locker room. 
Okay. So with some of these, I mean, if you're doing this on a regular basis, can you expect better mobility? Like yeah. it's gonna loosen it up over the long, cause like that's my, fr I, I feel so, st doing that lunge, yeah. that and, hurt. Yeah, and, and, there's, and there's other, that's some of the stuff we're gonna touch on with your guys is, uh, fitness programming and, yes. and and training based off of what we saw in the TPI assessment. But just like those, no different than that, it's gonna take reps and, and practice. It's a slow cooker thing. Don't think of this right. being like this microwave, right, right. quick result. All right, so once again, thank you so much to Zach for showing us through some of these basic movements that we can do on the course just before we get there to warm up. I think that's gonna be huge for me. How about you? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I can't wait for the workout plan that he's gonna yeah. provide because uh, I can tell you, I got a lot of stiffness to, to battle <laughs> through here, get a little more fluid, but uh, yeah. looking forward to it. All right, folks, we're gonna go back in the lab here then with Zach and get some of those workouts started with the TPI Institute. Zach, once again, thank you so much for your help yeah, on all you. this. Yep. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna continue on this transformation process, and then before long, we're taking it outside to show you guys how much this has helped with both of our games. That's right, we're gonna see the payoff. Thank you so much for watching. For another episode of HHM TV, I'm Brock, he's Chris. Go find the great things in your community. We'll see you next time. Squats. <laughs> <laughs>